What's good YouTube video here? Today I'm back with another video for you guys. Now, as you guys can see by the title, man, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the most consistent green light in NBA 2K23, man. If you guys like this video, just make sure to go down and hit the like button, subscribe, and you know, make sure to comment down you guys like the video, man. It really helps out a lot. Um, if we can get this video to 500 likes, I will be showing you guys my dribble animations and animations I recommend you guys put on for your player. Now, um, before we get into this video, man, I know you guys have been having trouble shooting, man. I'll say this 2K is really one of the hottest um, 2Ks to shoot in. So I got y'all guys with some jump shots that's going to help you guys. And pretty much the highest um, green window jump shot for players that are 6'5 and above. 6'5 um, and actually 6'5 and um, under 6'10. So to get into this video, I'm going to show, be showing guys the jump shots. And I'll be showing you guys how to like, um, how to use the jump shots and some settings that are going to help you guys. So... To start off, I'm going to sh show you guys the jump shot I'm currently using. Paul, uh, PJ Tucker, Paul George, and Oscar Robinson. I recommend you. I recommend you guys lab up your jump shots, man. You're not going to get. You're not going to find the perfect jump shot off rip. It took me. See, these these two were the jump shots that I were. I was pretty much labbing up with, and I ended up going with this one right here. Perfect. Uh, perfect release timing for me. Perfect release height. Defensive immunity, and I would say timing impact is big this year, guys. So. Um, make sure you guys take that into consideration when you guys are making your jump shots timing impact is very big so make sure you guys you know take that in consideration man so i'm gonna make the uh make my jump shot with you guys real quick actually hold on i'm gonna just apply real quick so as you guys can see there the base is pj tucker and when you guys are looking for a base for your jump shots i recommend going with like nba shooters you know um PJ Tucker's a good shooter in the NBA. Clay Thompson's a good shooter. And in, yeah, for this is for plays that are 6'5 and above. PJ Tucker is perfect for me. He has a good base, a quick, fast base for me that I like. And for your release ones and release twos, watch out for these, um, watch out for these parts of the jump shots, man. So I went with Paul George. He has a good flick. And Oscar Robinson is probably the quickest, quickest release for guards this year. Like um, I see a lot of guards using Oscar Robinson. So I went ahead, I went ahead and applied um he's released to my uh jump shot and here here's the blending 35 paul george 65 oscar robertson always make sure to max out your speed with your jump shots that's a big change right there as you guys can see with the release speed to an a and it bumps down the release time um the timing impact but i'm cool with that since i have labbed up this jump shot and you know it's a perfect feel for me so i would say you guys are not going to find your perfect jump shot off rip man it's going to take a couple games even for it to just gel with you so i recommend you know labbing up your jump shots man definitely this year is really hard to shoot now um i'm going to be showing you guys the best base if you guys are looking for release timing for players that are 6'5 and under 6'10 so what you guys want to do hello go over to your jump shot and for your green window which is your timing impact i reckon the best base in this game for players that are six five is going to be kevin martin it gives you guys that timing impact now me personally yet i personally rec I, I use my jump shot that i made but if you guys uh, timing impact is very big this year so if you guys are struggling to shoot you know if you guys are a corner player i recommend kevin martin for like players that play corner so if you guys are a lockdown in this game playing corner or just struggling to shoot and just trying to find a jump shot that can at least assist you guys assist you guys i recommend using the base for kevin martins as it gives you the timing impact of an a which is big this year um so those are the two jump shots i recommend you guys just like gelling up with just trying out all i can do is really just recommend you guys jump shots man to really master your jump shot this year it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some grind so um hop it hop in the gatorade arena as you guys can see i am in right now and just lab up the jump shots find ways that you guys can like um green in this game so if you guys are a better walk backs type of person like there's really ways that you can shoot in this game that can like um boost your green percentage so another thing um in my previous video i did recommend you guys go with the late for your controller settings that you guys see here for your shot timing release i recommend you guys go with late so late is for like players that if you once you if you guys are a visual if you guys like like visually timing your jump shot i recommend going with late um 
it pretty much like the green pops up when you guys release the bull so late is a good late is a good timing for you know if you're still learning your jump shot if you're still if you just recently added the jump shot into your um, inventory and just learning the jump shot but once you guys get down your shot i recommend switching over to early pretty much early is pretty much when you can shoot the ball without even like looking at your player like you just know your release and yeah it gives a quick boost to your you know you just know your release you can time it without even looking and all that so um moving on to shot meter two um i'm pretty sure my last video i recommend you guys turn it off but i did some research on that and um if you guys look on 2k labs they do they're pretty much a 2k organization that tests out every jump shots in the game and just test out the green percentages that you guys can do so they pretty much said that it really doesn't matter if you guys have your jump shot meter on turned off um the boost this year so in previous years there was a boost when you when you guys turned off your meter but the boost this year is not as big as it used to be so um if you're still learning your shot there's no shame in going with your shot meter on so um in this video i'm going to be showing you guys i'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay with the shot meter on just to show you guys that there is no shame in it man like um this year if you want to win the game you know you got to learn your shot and it's a big part of this game it's actually a big skill gap in this game so there's no shame in as I was saying, man, there's really no shame in using meter this year. That's going to be it for today's video, man. If you guys like this video, please make sure to go down, hit the like button and subscribe. If you guys want to learn how to do moves like this, or even this right here, um, y'all make sure to like up this video, man. Get this video to 100 likes and I'll be sure to post some more videos for you guys. Comment down in the comment section if you guys like this video. Peace.